Oh my God, we see you. The Ironclad team travels the globe, creating films for some of the world's best brands. But sometimes, the most intense moments aren't the ones in the script. We go behind the scenes and see what it takes to tell the stories of elite performers and boundary-pushing brands. This is Into the Fray. If there's any questions at all, feel free to stop and just ask us and make sure that we are all covered off on, on anything that's of value to you guys. We want to make sure that we're bringing it to set, making sure that you have check boxes before we get off the call and we'll, uh, we'll make it happen. So. Some of the shots for photo don't have matching video shots. The ones that are will be happening congruently and then the ones that aren't just have separate time breakouts. All right, thank you. So we're flying out of Norfolk this morning, but we're on our way to Miami, Florida to do a pretty exciting shoot. We've been gearing up for a while with Garmin. We've always enjoyed working with Garmin and all of the shoots we've done with them have been really exciting. We're gonna spend five days out on the water off the coast of Miami, shooting lifestyle content of five different boats. We've been prepping for it for a few months now and I think the team's ready to go. All right, six o'clock. Um, we're about to go out on the water here in a little bit. No right now is on FaceTime with the client. They're getting all the wardrobe approved and locked, so we're good to go. We're gonna grab our cameras, we're gonna head down to the dock, and we're gonna head out on the water. We're headed to location, it's early in the morning. I'm looking over at the captain as we're, as we're driving and he starts freaking out. I'm hearing stuff. I'm looking at him, he's looking at the boat. It seems like something is wrong with the boat. None of us are really quite sure. He starts freaking out, he goes to the back of the boat, and then he starts screaming. Oh my God, we see you. Mind you, we haven't even gotten the first shot off yet. We're just going to get the first shot. Oh, oh yeah, this boat's toast. There's no way. Because it's already got water up in there. This boat is gonna get towed in. Yeah. I wouldn't even try to start it. There's no point. Like right now. Call the company that we rented the boat from, they're hooking it up and sending another boat down for us for this afternoon's production. Of course, when something to this magnitude happens, you need proof. So we ended up leaving Harley on the boat. Harley, thanks for uh, Later, sacrifice, bud. dog. <laughs> yeah. So we're shooting with Garmin this week. They have some really cool products coming out. We're really just trying to highlight the lifestyle behind those products. We are currently in shoot mode. We're gonna make this happen. Back off just a touch. That's perfect right there. Just like that. Just finished up the last client call of the day. Client was super stoked and everything. Got a little sunburn. Had some fun in the water. Looking forward to a great day tomorrow. Let's do it. The sky looks awesome. We're flying backwards at high speed with a windy day. Turn all the obstacle avoidance off so we can get close to the boat. Landing and taking off is really challenging, but so many levels right now. <laughs> We had a really killer production this morning, but this afternoon at sunset's looking like it's gonna be really nice. We've got perfect cloud coverage. We're just gonna make it happen and see what we can do. Hey Sebastian, can you rotate the boat so it's facing that way? The sun is just going off. Got Miami in the background. It's perfectly orange. We uh, scored some touchdowns, got some good runs in. Our team really pulled it together, made it happen. Hauled ass all the way back home, and it was yeah. a great way to end the day. Good, I'm glad we got this last night. Better boat for the team. I was up late getting this locked in, and I'm excited to see it here this morning. Yeah, we're kind of just sitting out here ready to go whenever you guys are. Cool, we're about to push off now. Uh, you guys let me know when we're good. And this time, look back over your left shoulder. So you'll be fighting here, look this way. All right, let's go. Yeah. Big, big smiles when you look back, Chris. Yeah. Wow, he's a big fish, bro. Hell yeah. What? <laughs> it's huge. Got it's him off. It's it's like get that <laughs> off the boat. Look back, Chris, look back. We had a ton of fun. There was a lot of hiccups that happened, but our team adapted and overcame everything that got thrown our way. A lot of really, really solid content that came out of it. The Garmin team's happy, the Ironclad team's happy, and we made it happen.
We love working with Garmin. Love the content we got this week. Can't wait to get back out there with them again. All right, that's a wrap. Thank you guys. Great job, everyone. Thank you. So Katie got new Slim Jims, habanero flavored. All right, let's see how it is. Oh, that got really fresh. So our friends at Garmin actually reached out to us to capture some photo and video footage of some of their marine tech. They said water boats fishing. We said we're in. So the team is headed to North Carolina for the first part of this shoot, and then they'll be headed back to Virginia Beach for part two. All right, so we just got here in Wilmington, uh, about to check into the Airbnb. Gonna start building out cameras and our streaming solution and test everything, make sure we're good to go. Kind of running up against time, so half of the crew is gonna split off and go scout on the boat to a couple of locations. I got down here. Going out into the ocean about a mile or two, uh, just trying to see if we can get some open water, get DJ and Austin out there as well for photos, because photos are a big part of this shoot. We have very few shots, we have about eight shots that we need to get. What I'd love to do is get all our coverage tomorrow morning and then tomorrow evening. I'd love to go get our boat shots because of covid and other travel restrictions we are trying to get a live oh, monitoring really? solution Sorry. for our friends over at garmin the camera feed is going to the city seven we're transmitting from that to serve yeah. pro from teradek that is going to like a uh, youtube live to garmin so they can see okay, okay. all of the stuff tomorrow <laughs> Guys, there is only about four big shots we need to get for video and about six for photo. Let's do it, So with COVID restrictions in place, I'm actually in South Carolina and producing this one entirely remotely. So we do have to keep our fingers crossed that internet and cell signals uh, will hold out while the team's out on the water. So we're getting through the day. Um, the guys are on the other boat. They're about to start video. The client is really happy. We've been doing the whole streaming system with them. DJ and I just finished up our session. We just shot a bunch of products and we're really excited with how it's turning out. We're out in the water. We're shooting with Garmin and it just started raining. We're on a little hold right now. A little shooting hiatus, as they say. Uh, Kevin and Austin got a little motion sickness, so they had to jump in the water. I love going out in the water, however, being on the ocean is a bit of a different beast. Jeremy looks at me and said, hey dude, you look like you've seen a ghost. So one of the guys is like, hey, I heard that if you jump in the water, it cures your seasickness. <laughs> It was so scary though, being down there, thinking a shark could get me at any moment. Um, I think we're ready to go to get drone shots. Are we good? Uh, yeah, we're drone, drone shots. shots. We are going to do two pickup shots really quick of the actual units of the center console and then breaking until later this evening. What do we want the boat set up as? 45 degree half moon to circle around them, all right? And you guys are facing the sunset on the, on the helm. So we just wrapped our first day. The stream solution turned out great. They were able to comment and make tweaks to what we're shooting. It was a good solution. I think we're really happy with it and we're gonna continue to put it through its paces tomorrow back when we get home in Virginia. Today's day two of the Garmin shoot. We're out here on Back Bay. There is like 30 of us on two boats. <laughs> this is pretty already, man. This is great it's for their really photos. Pretty. So what you're seeing here is multitasking at its finest, okay? We're getting our shots from multiple angles. We have two stunt fishermen working at the same time. And we are calling Noah's mom. Keep on keeping on. I caught him with my thumb. I noodled him. Can Noodle the bass. Yeah, there you go. Do it again and then go ahead and grab the lure as you pull it out. All right, go for it. Hey, if you can get him in that shot, in the watch in that shot, you're winning. There's a snake, just swim out, went right below him, but okay, I go think ahead he and should pull be fine. Right 
So overall, I could imagine this production going any smoother. Um, all of our remote systems worked. The team had a blast. The client is happy. Everyone's happy and we're stoked to get them the footage. We're out here working. This is one of those crazy months where we're going straight from one shoot to another. We just wrapped one down here in the Keys and we are about to fly up to Sedona for a shoot with Garmin. We can leave all of our video equipment here because it's basically just a, a straight photo shoot. We are at Sedona ATV grabbing our equipment and stuff. We have four razors, so we're gonna convoy out to the trail. So we're shooting this new product with Garmin. It's called the Tread. It's essentially a full interface that you can link any of your Garmin accessories into. Uh, you could drop waypoints, view your camera on your front of your car. It's, it's pretty sweet. So we just got into Sedona last night. This is the first morning we're actually being able to see the landscape and it is amazing. Half the work is just getting to the locations and then the locations do the rest of the work for us. We have the Rubicon parked up just so we can get a higher angle. They're gonna come around this bend. We're just gonna get them with the sun in the back and everything. We're heading down to our next location. I hear on the radio that someone like flipped a vehicle. We turn the corner and there legitimately is a vehicle on its side. The driving's been, as you can see, a little haphazard. Hit this pretty sharp turn and I got perpendicular to the road. I got off the car as quickly as possible and checked to make sure there was like no leakage. We just uh, finished the first part of the day. We are breaking to do a check-in call with Garmin. Once the guys get back, I'll take their cards, ingest them, and we'll show the crew back at Garmin and the stuff that we've been capturing this morning. This is them going around the corner and then all of the cars um, driving cool. through. Cool. Cool. So basically we wanted a action shot of one of the Polaris's moving through these trees. The best way that we could execute on this was utilizing Kyle and Logan's truck. Day two, we're heading up the mountain, trying to beat the sun up there because we really need this low light shot with the drone. For the past two days, I've been watching people drive these things. And I said, no more. <laughs> We've got our talent and our vehicle set up. We're looking for that hero shot at sunset. We've got the sun poking rays through this hole in the cloud. This is the last shot of the day. We've gotten a couple alts for the hero shot that they really want with the three side-by-sides making a turn with the scenic in the background. Hopefully we can make it happen and get Carmen what they want. Wrapping two days of production out here with Garmin. Kyle and Logan from the Garmin team have been amazing to work with. The whole team here on site has been awesome. We're excited to see kind of where this takes us. That's a wrap. Yeah! Woo! Woo! That's good, that's good.